When approaching an unknown world, a legendary hero must stand up for what's right and defeat the banished enemy. But this time, he'll need some help in the air. From Mega Constructs Halo, this is the Pelican Inbound. Released in 2020, and even stayed in stock years after, the Pelican Inbound seems to be Mega's flagship set when Halo Infinite was originally meant to come out. However, the game was delayed, but the set still stayed on track. I've gotta be straight up honest with you right now, this is probably one of my favorite sets to date. I never had a full-size Pelican, but even then, this is an incredible build. The set has weapon storage inside the walls, as well as a bonus crate with a black lid to place in extras. There's a shock rifle in bluish gray, a sidearm pistol in silver, two frag grenades in silver, a bulldog shotgun in black, and an assault rifle in gray with attachment clip. Starting with the Master Chief, this is the regular configuration with FJ shoulders, flat Halo Wars chest, and Mark VI helmet. We've seen them so often, but I'm loving the silver paint to highlight the edges. Modern articulation, gray undersuit, green armor, 117 print, silver lights, dark gray details, and an orange gold visor. The pilot or bro hammer figure uses parts that have been used in either the Halo or Call of Duty line, similar to the pilot setup from the Marine Gear Pack. Early versions had the extended legs, but they did fix it upon later releases. What a handsome face when the helmet is removed. You can flip the straps to place them over the shoulders. He uses the modern articulation, gray shoes, black knees, blue outfit, light skin, gray armor, black visor, white on the eyes, and dark brown hair. As a bonus, the set includes a hunter, which is the most up-to-date version using the wide shield and modern joints that seem more traditional. Though, I'd rather more movement in the knees and the head, but he's a big boy, he gets away with it. I dig how the chest opens, though what am I gonna swap it with? I love the banished crimson, the dark steel armor, black details, transparent red on the gun, and the silver markings on the shielded pieces. This is the most well-rounded version of the Pelican gunship. I know the original was cheaper when it came out, but this uses so many little parts to get the details and components. You can feel how much was drawn into it. I love the choice of the metallic green with the clear cockpit. It feels so regular that it still fits in with all the other infinite themed sets. There's so many printed parts. I like the vents, UNSC logos, especially on the wings, and arrows, some of which are applied cricket. There's joints to get the curve, but they rest properly. There's so many little things to spot, like the tiny fence on top, but it also relies on plenty of slopes. The black pieces over the front engine is connected to a ball joint, just to get the perfect angle. There's a front turret that can move around, and other of the wings are missile launchers with a printed tile. One of mine couldn't connect properly, but but there is a spare just in case. Even the back ones look fine, though the underneath feels incomplete. Oh god, there's a hunter on the wing! All the boosters can ratchet so you can adjust them. There's landing gear on the back that is locked in place. You can push the tab from the outside to lift it up, but if you open the top, there's a beam that you can move to swing it out. They can click back down in place manually. The front landing gear on wheels can also tuck inside an empty cavity. To gain access, there's so many ways to do it. First, the windscreen comes up, which gives you access to the pilot seat with handles, a console, and space for Chief to be a backseat driver. Again, the top can open so you can gain access to the middle, and the back door can also open. Gotta watch for your head, but you can pose Chief there. That's not all, the entire thing can act as a playset with a transformation feature. Take out the lock, swing up the panels and top as shown in the instructions, make sure everything is correct, otherwise you might break something. Anyways, pop out the ball joints holding everything, and open it up for an interactive interior. Some people didn't like this, mainly because because there should be more seats, but I don't mind. I don't think it's a full interior anyways, just enough to give you an idea and stuff to do. You can find a ton of printed tiles, some of which are hard to see down the hallway. There's still a seat there, weapons rack, bench, a fire extinguisher, and a bar mounted on hinges to prop up Chief. I also love how a second level of flooring is shown, so it exposes more space to work with. My only complaint is the build felt a little tedious with all the small plates that I feel could have been made quicker but this is so well constructed. I have to appreciate what they made. It's a joy to handle, so I have to say, I totally recommend this set.